competition. It's given a stuffed crust pizza, Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the Gillinor Games. Competition suppresses the weak. This would made my girlfriend do one extra push-up in middle school because her competitor was that annoying. It also provides us with cool techno gadgets, like Hello Kitty watches. But, most importantly, it's given us great, fresh, old-school RuneScape content. So come back with me as we travel through the last 10 years and account for some of old-school RuneScape's YouTubers' most revolutionary content. Hi, and welcome to my guide. We know it, we love it, and we can't live without it. Slayer Music makes quest guides. Okay, so what? You fool! Slayer Music doesn't just make guides. He makes the best damn guys that have ever blessed the internet. He's straight to the point, he holds your hand like you are five years old, and we need that sometimes because some of us hold the spacebar and can't be asked to know what's going on in Gertrude's cat. But what really sets him apart to me from his fellow competitors is his camera movement. This is not the opening scene to Saving Private Ryan, I want to know what is going on, please. I need to sit down, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. So when I am lost and alone in the Lumbee Swamp Cave, Slayer Music is my shining beacon, ready to lift me in his strong arms and carry me to my quest cave. It is official. Uh, I'd have to say that the demand, I mean, I did the poll on this to find out if people would want me to do it or not, but the demand for this has actually been incredible to what I actually expect. Bodhi, streamer, YouTuber, daddy, and also popularizer of the Iron Man game mode. I mean, he was doing Iron Man before there was officially Iron Man. Imagine playing a chair-locked Iron Man before you knew there was chair-locked Iron Man. He was hitting targets no one else knew were there. He is the OG Tony Stark. His full part one of his one man army series is sitting at 2.5 million views on YouTube. To let that sink in, imagine 2.5 million people saw your nudes. After he popularized it, Jagex took notice and, regrettably, released the official Iron Man game mode. Since then, the most watched RuneScape series on YouTube has been Iron Man game modes, but not only that, Creators took inspiration and restricted themselves even further to produce better content. Bodhi is one of the best out there and he deserves all the credit when I say he has been one of the most revolutionary content creators. Ahem. Now speaking of Iron Man series is, 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 that took the game mode even further, I did a little bit of Gugan and hot damn there are a lot, I mean a lot of new Iron Man series. Now many were left for dead, or did not get a lot of attention. So for the sake of brevity, I'm going to do what I like to call a hurry sprint. Area locked restrictions, it's a permanent condition. Will Dependent was the first one out the kitchen. Easyscape, not Eviescape, was the next one to matter. Not far behind came C Engineer, Nine Rain, and settled up the ladder. The sound of me dropping the mic. Settled. Wait. I know that name. Swamp. Man. Good? Restricted Iron Man accounts were not a new idea during this time. Like every note on a piano has been played. But sometimes someone does it so well, they change everything. That is Settled with his Mauritania locked Ultimate Iron Man account. If you're not sure what a Mauritania locked Ultimate Iron Man account is, everything I reference will be linked down below, but simply put, it is a RuneScape account which can't trade with players, can't bank, and which can't leave the barren swampland of Gilinor. And every episode had a challenge that he had to overcome, and each challenge got bigger and bigger and bigger as the series progressed. He had to think outside of the box. Like crossing a bridge for 15 XP, or having to read the wiki page with a magnifying glass. He had an inspiring form of storytelling, and could get people invested. At one point, and if you've been around a while you know this, the only way to complete his series goal of defeating the Theater of Blood was by obtaining a rune crossbow. Any normie such as myself would just mine some runite, get the proper fletching and level, and bam, rune crossbow. But being restricted to Shrek's homeland and the fact that Settled is not a normal human being, he had to get creative. 
and using his community to find Lucky Implings, which are the only drop table that contain a ring crossbow, he settled set a bounty of 1 billion GP for the person whose Lucky Impling led him to a ring crossbow. I mean RNG Jesus, that is insane. In fact, when Settled unfortunately kicked the bucket in game and lost his items, Jagex dedicated a tile to Swamp Man, because he's so good. Now, during and since the completion of Swamp Man series, many, 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 many Ultimate Iron Man restricted accounts have risen up, and this includes numerous content creators creating new series, like Wildernator. Basically, this whole list will leave a link down below, check it out if you're interested. This new competition brought the idea of restricting accounts to even greater creative heights. Wildly popular series like Jimmy's Buy Release, a series where he does each quest in the order of their release with some top tier commentary and epic tunes to go along, is one of my favorites. Also, Verbs from Nick Locked account is also a good one. I mean, these are all my go to's. There are just so many, and so many inspirations were taken from Swamp Man. So go check out the linky. So, I'll let you guys go soon, but I want to touch on one more recent series that seems to have taken the RuneScape community by storm, and for good reason. Jeff Probst Survivor. <clears throat> I mean, Soup's Gilinor Games. Now, many RuneScape series consist of a noob to main or, or an area-restricted account, and people do a lot of creative things with these playthroughs, but Gilinor Games is not like that at all. The Gilinor Games takes RuneScape content creators from sweaty irons to casuals and puts them all in a survivor-like competition where only one can win the prize. There is teamwork, backstabbing, a lot of tea being sipped, and Davids and Goliaths. We love to watch because of the personalities, the tension, and the great pacing and editing, and so much more. In his stream, Super was asked why he decided to come up with the series, and he said because his channel was dying and he needed to innovate. The competition forced him to revolutionize what we consume, and it paid off. Now, in my opinion, his series is the most widely talked about and interesting show we have. And so much of content creators' career is tied to their community, or their game, or whatever. Like with the rise of Fortnite, Ninja became a name everyone and their grandma knew. But as Fortnite viewership died, so did Ninja. RuneScape has been around for over 20 years, and through this it has grown, changed, and reset. Careers have been made and killed. Some content creators like Bodhi, Settled, and Soup are able to survive because of how they compete, because of their ideas and the execution of them. They take chances, sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. And in my opinion, apart from other reasons, I believe RuneScape has survived this long because of content creators. They keep it fresh. They make me excited to play. People are watching their videos who have never even heard of RuneScape. And that is why I think RuneScape has a long road ahead of it. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I apologize for my voice. I'm not feeling super great. But um, this channel has grown more than I ever thought it would. I didn't think anybody would be watching my videos when I posted them. I thought I would just get like lost in the YouTube algorithm or something. So really, thank you all. And um, I've also I left some links down below, so check it out. And uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know everything. So if you know of somebody who had an impact or influenced the content of RuneScape, um, let me know. Leave a comment. I love to read them, and, and I love responding to everybody. So thank you all for watching. See ya.